big game is just something you really can't put into words. It's it's way more than the football game. It's uh, it's it's a classic matchup. I mean, it's it's like a Greek contest. You could throw the record away when that big game rolls around because there's so much sentiment, so much desire. And as I reached the light of the tunnel, I could see the blue and gold um, surrounding the red, and it's just a rush that went through you. And from that moment on, I was in love with the big game. It's not your arm or your leg or your life or your wife or anything like that. It's much more important. There are a lot of rivalries, but there's nothing to match the big game. Armin will probably try to squib it, and he does. Ball comes loose, and the Bears have to get out of bounds. Rodgers along the sideline, another one. They're still in deep trouble at midfield. They tried to do a couple of... The ball is still loose as they get it to Rodgers. They give it back now to the 30. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going to the end the Bears. The Bears have won. The Bears have won. Oh, my God. The most amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rending, exciting, thrilling finish in the history of college football. California has won the big game over Stanford. Amazing, sensational, dramatic, heart-rendering, exciting, thrilling. These words not only describe that incredible play in 1982, they summarize what this century-old gridiron tradition is all about. The big game, Cal versus Stanford, a classic football rivalry between two great universities. But it's more than that. The big game is an event, a celebration, a time each year when the air comes alive with chance of go Bears and beat Stanford, when alumni from both schools come together to witness a new chapter of history in the making. And what a history it's been. Nearly a dozen years after America's first intercollegiate football game was played between Princeton and Rutgers in 1869, college football moved west and found its home on the Berkeley campus of the University of California in 1881. With almost a decade of local club play under their belts, the 1891 football Bears were searching for their first college opponent. Looking across the bay, Cal issued a challenge to then-fledgling Leland Stanford Junior University for a Thanksgiving Day football game. Stanford refused the offer, explaining that since they had just opened their doors, they had not yet had time to organize a football team to compete against the more seasoned California Bears. But six months later, Stanford was ready, and the greatest rivalry in college football history was about to begin. The pent-up enthusiasm burst with a bang in San Francisco the day of the game. All morning, the students paraded the streets, tooting horns and giving yells. For hours before the game, there was a steady procession to the grounds. Cable cars, bicycles, gaily decorated coaches, all sorts of vehicles were pressed into service. Those were the words of Clinton R. Brick Morris, one of the Cal players on that first big game team who later became a well-known San Francisco sports writer and big game historian. That first game was played on March 19, 1892 at the field on Haight and Stanion Streets in San Francisco. Unbeknownst to Brick or any of the other 15,000 plus in attendance, a tradition was about to be born, one that would last not just years or even decades, but for a century and beyond. At last, the hour of the contest arrived. 15,000 people, a record-breaking crowd, were present when the two teams trotted onto the field. The referee drew his whistle and asked for the football to be put in position for the kickoff. Lo and behold, each team had forgotten to bring that all-essential article, the football. Some say Stanford team manager and future president Herbert Hoover was at fault. Others point toward California. But nonetheless, the first big game could not yet begin. As luck would have it, a local sporting goods store owner was in attendance, and he volunteered to ride his horse downtown and bring back a football. He returned an hour later with what was described as a pudgy cross between a punching bag and a football. Finally, the coin was tossed, and the big game became a part of history. The larger and more experienced Cal team was heavily favored going into this, the inaugural game, but like so many Cal Stanford games since, the pregame predictions turned out to have nothing to do with the final outcome. Stanford defeated the Bears by a score of 14 to 10, thereby giving the fans the first of many big game upsets to come. A second big game was played in 1892, this time in the fall where it would stay for at least the next hundred years. 
and again Stanford prevailed. It wasn't until 1898, six years, three ties, and seven games later, that the Bears were able to finally post their first big game win. Led by such names out of the past as Locomotive Smith, Lowell Pringle, Percy Hall, and Kangaroo Pete Carsberg, the Bears soundly defeated Stanford by a score of 22 to nothing, their first big game win. <laughs>